Hello everyone, welcome to Girls No Code. My name is Vincent. I am a software engineer with eight years of experience in web and mobile development. Today, I am so excited to share with you guys a new topic. I will start a series about application deployment. During this series, you guys will know how to docker an application, how to run the docker image with docker combo, how to deploy the docker image with Heroku, how to use the Soko site to build and boost the docker image to private directory, and last but not least, you guys will know how to deploy the application on Kubernetes. So please make sure to subscribe the channel to follow the tutorial. Alright, let's start the first tutorial, how to docker an application. There are many ways to develop an application by using programming languages such as Ruby, Python, Java, Accenture, but in this tutorial, I will start to docker a simple Ruby on Rails API application regarding other frameworks and programming linkages, for example React.js, LSL Phoenix, JavaScript Spring Boot, or Python Django. I will show to you guys in additional video after this series. This is my Ruby on Rails application. Let me start the application by running the Rails server command. Next, access to the application Firebot 3000 on web browser. Basically, it is a simple application. It has a single endpoint return the status 200 and a simple JSON structure. Now, we need to decide which environment we will run the application, development or production. In this tutorial, I decide to run the Docker image on production environment. So my bundle install will skip the libraries in the development and test group. Next step is creating a Docker file. I will save the file in the Docker directory. This application is built by Ruby on Rails, so in my Docker file, the base image will be Ruby, and then we need to decide which Ruby version we need to run in the Docker image. So according to the project, the Ruby version is 2.6.0, so the base image will be the Ruby 2.6.0. To reduce the Docker image size, I will use the unpy image, so in the end, the base image for this project is Ruby 2.6.0 unpy. Next step, I will add libraries that will be used in the API application. The libraries consist per git, bus, Tamsun data, and Postgres clients. Next step, I will create a directory on Docker image for my application, and then set this directory as a work directory. Next step is running bundle install to install dependency for the application. To do it, I will copy the gem file from the app directory. And then I will install Pendular. By the way, Pendular is a way to manage dependency. Next, because of my application will be run on production environment, so I will write the command to skip development and test dependency. And then I will run the bundle install to install dependency. Now, I will copy the rest of the project application to the app directory. The last thing is export the specific port number that the application needs when running. Okay, so we finished writing the Docker file. At this moment, I still not able to build the Docker image and run the application. In the next video, I will show you guys how to build and run the Docker image with Docker Compose. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.